for you to save Nazism, that it was the implementation of the work of Charles Darwin, is a filthy slander, undeserving of you, and an insult to this audience. Atheists uh, say that there are those things. Hitchens and some of the Marxists uh, changed tactics in the last few years. They seem to have realized that to, to advance the Marxist plan for a new world and a new man, the old tactics will not work or aren't working quickly enough for their liking. Revolutionary communism failed completely, of course. The Frankfurt School and cultural Marxism uh, did not fail at all. The program of destroying traditional uh, Western culture from within has changed our societies uh, beyond recognition. The, the program of uh, critiquing and ridiculing uh, our values and, and traditions in order to facilitate the future takeover did not fail and did not stop. But Hitchens and others like him possibly believe um, that process is just not uh, quick enough or, or not destructive enough. So these new subversives have gone down a completely different and unexpected route than um, 20th um, century uh, Marxists. Uh, they become Darwinists, which is completely original once you look at the history of Marxism and the history of communism. Even though Karl Marx himself was uh, an adoring fan of Darwin and even asked for, for Darwin's permission to dedicate his book Das Kapital to him, the same is not true of most uh, 20th century Marxists, uh, both in uh, Stalinist um, Soviet Union and in Western Marxist circles. Darwin's theories always pose uh, several insuperable difficulties for theorists and, and activists as well. If they were to accept Darwin's theory of sexual selection, for example, it would be um, uh, very difficult to, to promote um, feminism uh, to the masses. And also if they accepted uh, Darwin's theories, uh, theories on race distinction and race evolution, it would become impossible and very embarrassing indeed to um, preach class and race in distinction, uh, particularly in African countries and in multicultural ones like the United States. Also, the, the Marxist uh, promotion of relax uh, relaxation on uh, immigration laws, uh, based entirely on the premise that there is not such a thing as race, that race is nothing but a cultural uh, construct, uh, completely contradicts um, Dar Darwin's uh, theories. Um, Darwinism is also difficult for Marxists, uh, historically, uh, despite all the rather agitated protests by Christopher Hitchens, uh, full of well-rehearsed indignation. It is a fact, and a fact well beyond, beyond the incertitude, that Adolf Hitler was an ardent follower, follower of Darwinism. You can easily find proof of it all over Hitler, Hitler's writings, speeches, and, and especially policies. It's only the most fanatical atheists and, and other imbeciles who refuse to look at the evidence. For example, Hitchens very often brings up quotes of um, that apparently paint Hitler as a God-fearing man, like the famous quote in Mein Kampf um, about ful fulfilling God's will. Uh, disingenuously, he does not regard those quotes as demagoguery. On the other hand, I have never ever uh, have heard um, Hitchens quoting uh, Hitler's obvious uh, references to Darwinist evolution and, and natural selection, which can be easily found all over Mein Kampf. For, for example, he writes about the, the higher development of organic uh, living beings. He talks about the lower human types and, and cautions his fellow Germans and Austrians um, against the nature's effort to establish a, an evolutionary higher stage of humanity or something or the other that would be jeopardized if, um, if their countrymen would start mixing with other races. These are quotes that can be easily found um, in the book. And then there, there are the Nazi policies of euthanasia and of forced genetic selection uh, fought against by, by the church, incidentally. 
the Nazis implemented the program of social Darwinism, which in their version of it included the sterilization and the killing of people who suffered from hereditary conditions. That was called the, the Action T4 program. There were over 100,000 um, people perished um, through that program. Um, not the practice of a God-fearing man, uh, one would, would say, at least um, a man who, feel, who has a, a similar concept of God to the Christian uh, understanding of one. Obviously, uh, the left could not stick to Darwin after this um, historical connection, uh, at least in the days um, that before in the, the, the absolute decay in the quality of public education, particularly in the areas of um, his history and critical thinking. Nowadays, one is free to say whatever one wants without the fear of ridicule um, if one is uh, promoted by the, the media owners. Uh, Hitchens benefits from from that immensely. But why does he do it? Why are the neo-Marxists um, choosing to promote Darwinism? It is not the love of, of truth and reason that they decry so emotionally and so often. And it's certainly not the fallacious mantra. Uh, all wars are created by religions that they repeat so very often. They don't believe in any of that. They are cynics. The only cross of only the cross of halfwits and imbeciles who adore these activists beyond any criticism for some reason belief in in their lies. What they really want is to remove the last and main obstacle in the on the way of their ideal society. They wish to separate you from transcendental values and from the transcendental world of unchanging morality so that they can fill you with their absurd and evil ideas in order to create an absurd and evil world. Thanks for listening.